While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Because how do we end up in the ghetto? How do we end up in the hood across America? How is it, I, how is it that in Springfield, that's a ghetto? How is it that you go to St. Louis, that's a ghetto? Chicago, that's a ghetto. Detroit, that's a ghetto. DeKalb, that's a ghetto. Bring it out! Every city in America that we are in is a ghetto. Bring them up! And what we doing in the ghetto? Shooting a brother that looks just like us. Right. Why is that happening? That's because we, we have been trained to hate each other. Read. Amos chapter 3 verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the problem is, the reason why it's happening is because God is punishing us because of our sins. He's punishing us for these things. We are being punished. We are in the midst of our punishment. Because we broke God's law. That's why these things are happening to our community. That's why our sister got shot down. Because we are not right in the sight of the Most High God. Right. Y'all understand what he just said? He just said he's greater than the, the, the Japanese man, the greater than the white man. Do y'all agree that? We, that we are greater than them? Y'all agree with that? You agree with that, sis? Yes, yes, yes. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. Read. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible, we read in the book of Deuteronomy. Hey, come on here. Come, come closer, y'all. Come closer. Come close. We out here for y'all. We out here to show y'all the truth of God's law. We out here to show y'all who y'all are. So, read. so read it again. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible says that we are a holy people. That thou is talking about us. The so-called black man, the Hispanic man, Native American man. It says we are above all people. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. To be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Bible says that we are above all people that are on the face of the earth, right? Y'all right. agree with that? That we are above all people that are on the face of the earth? You agree with that, brother? You agree with that, bro? So if that's the case, why do we keep getting shot down in the streets? Why do, why are these things continuously happening to us? Why, why do we keep, why are we at the bottom of society? No matter what city you go to, city or state, we in the hood. We in the ghetto. We killing and murdering each other. And we getting shot down by the police. Why are those things happening to us? Give me Amos chapter 3. Why are these things continuing to happen to us? Do anybody know what's the solution to stop these things from happening? You said stand up? What do we got to stand up on? Stand up on us for our citizenship and our rights. Our rights according to this land. Have we not done that before? No. We marched years. We marched 20 plus years and what happened? What's the, what, you say stand, what, what are we standing on? Okay, we gotta unite. We gotta unite, we gotta stand. But what's, what's gonna be our catalyst? What's gonna be the catalyst? What's gonna be that thing to keep us together? Because we can come together, but if we come together and you got one brother that want to kill everybody, right. one, everybody one brother that want to uh, sleep with everybody white, right. you got one brother that believe in Allah, right. are we really going to be united? Right. No, we're not going to be united. Right. So what is it that we got to be united under? Right. Bring it out. Under Christ. You want, that's right. So come on, come on, read that. Read what I got. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. So this Bible says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, oh, children of Israel. It's speaking to us. Us directly. All of y'all that's standing here. This is speaking to us. Read. We are, we are the Israelites. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. He said, against the whole family that I brought up from the land of Egypt. We are that family that was brought up from the land of Egypt. Just like we was brought over here on them slave ships, we are the same family that came that God delivered out of Egypt. And, read, and know this, that same deliverance is happening for us today. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So it says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So like the officer was bringing out, where does that include all the other nations? 
He said, God said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So if the Bible is saying that, where is the church getting, getting it that all places getting saved? Where is that coming from? What Bible are they reading? Did somebody tell me? What you got? Make it make sense for me. The question I asked is, how do we solve the problem that keep happening unto us over and over and over again? How do we stop getting shot down from the battle police? And how do we stop the murders that happen in our communities amongst each other? We kill each other. How do we solve that? Because one, we got one. Why is it happening? And two, how do we solve it? That's the question. What, how do you think we solve it? You say the streets are the streets. You say it's hard to change that? So we oppress. Yes, that's true. The thing is, why are we oppressed? Because let, let me show you, let me show you this. Because that's true. The streets are the streets. But one thing we have to know, there's hope for those that are in the streets. There is a way out of the streets. So because it's a it's a reason I'm asking the question, is because I want to show you out the Bible what the solution is and why these things are happening. Because how do we end up in the ghetto? How do we end up in the hood across America? How is it I, How is it that in Springfield, that's a ghetto? How is it that you go to St. Louis, that's a ghetto? Chicago, that's a ghetto. Detroit, that's a ghetto. DeKalb, that's a ghetto. Bring it out! Rocks. Every city in America that we are in is a ghetto. Bring them up! And what we doing in the ghetto? Shooting a brother that looks just like us. Right. Why is that happening? That's because we, we have been trained to hate each other. Right. Read. Amos chapter 3 verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the problem is, the reason why it's happening is because God is punishing us because of our sins. He's right. punishing us for these things. We are being punished. We are in the midst of our punishment. Because we broke God's law. That's why these things are happening to our community. That's why our sister got shot down. Because we are not right in the sight of the Most High God. So he's punishing us for these various things that's going on in our community. Because you say the street, the street. Let me get Leviticus 19. What was you holding? Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. Because the streets are the streets. But what if I looked at you like you was a God? When I was a God, I another God. You know. If I looked at you like my brother and not my heart, would the thought be that I'm going to shoot you and kill you? No, it's going to change that mindset. But we've been trained and, and groomed to hate each other, to think that we are the ops. How are we ops when we live in the same ghetto with the same problem? We live in the, live in the hood and slums. I'm struggling like you're struggling, but I'm going to come and shoot you down because you got a better car than me. Make it make sense. That don't make no sense. How you doing, my sister? How you doing? How you doing? Read that. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Now, this is a law. This is one of the laws of God that God gave us to keep. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So he said, thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. We out here, we brothers. We brothers and sisters out here. Right. But is that shown in our communities? You know. Is that, is that brotherly love shown in our community? And I, because it's a terrible thing for our sister to get shot down. But you know something that's a little bit worse? Is that all of our communities, our brothers are shooting our brothers down day in and day out, and ain't nobody doing nothing about it. Right. That's 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 a problem as well. And that's what we gotta we gotta change our thought process. Because if the answer is not in the Christian church. Right. We've been going to Christian church for years upon years. Right. And there's a church, there's a church here, there's a church down the street. Every city you go in, it's about 20 churches on in, a, in about three blocks. Right. But when you look in the communities, we still suffering. We still struggling. Read that. Let's finish this. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So let's put this in perfect in perspective. This is one of the laws that God gave us. He said that we should not hate our brother in our heart, but we shall in any wise rebuke him. If you don't hate your, if you go, if your brother, let's say your brother stole something, you were you own the store, he stole some chips, 
he stole some stuff out of your store. Are you supposed to say, you know what? I'm gonna wait till I, I'm gonna wait till I close up shop and I'm gonna go kill that Negro. Is that what we supposed to do? No. no. But that's what happens day in and day out in our community. Right. But if we apply it this, you see your brother on the camera, you go and talk to your brother. You go and correct, rebuke about breaking God's laws, about stealing. Right. Whatever the case may be, you go to your brother and you rebuke him. And then you, 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 solve, the, you solve the problem. Right. Because taking his life ain't going to solve the problem. Because what's taking his life going to do, what's going to happen? What's going to happen when the brother go and take his brother's life? What's bound to happen? Hey, okay, you live out of here, you're going to end up dying. But what's going to happen? What's going to happen? You killed George, let's say you killed his brother. What is cousins and his brothers that's going to do that's also in the streets? What are they going to do? They finna come and get you. So now it's a never ending cycle of murder. But read on. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So now that goes with this. Now, if some, let's say something like that did happen. The Bible says, thou shalt not avenge. Avenge is another word for revenge. That will stop the murders that go on in our community. Teach we, on. Can't just, we can't just pinpoint, okay, when, it's, when the police shoot one of us, we can't just, now we, now we want to march and now we want to go, go cloud nine and why you, why you do that, you want to make it a big deal. No, we got to make it a big deal when, a brother, when our brother kill our brother. We also have to do that. Right. Because that's what's going to fix our community. Right. Those are the things that's going to fix the community that we live in. You understand that? That's, the, that's what we have to do. Those are the commandments of God. Those are the things. Y'all have any questions? Come come closer, y'all. Y'all standing in the far back like we're going to bite y'all or something. I want y'all to be able to see the sign. So I want to ask. So another thing. Give me Deuteronomy 20, 25. Because these are the things that we need to hear is God's laws. That's right. God's laws is what's going to solve all the problems. Because what are some of the things that, what are some of the issues that go on in our community? Killing, robbing, stealing. What about you? Huh? Drugs. What about you? Say it again, I can hear you. Okay, what you, what you think? What's some of the problems that go on in our community? Lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge itself. True. What about you, sis? Homelessness. What about you, bro? So everything that y'all said, you said redlining, you said stealing, you said robbing, you said drugs. So all of those things, what is the solution? Read it. Ephesians the four, verse 28. Let him that stole steal no more. So the Bible says, let him that stole steal no more. This is what we have to go. Now before we read that, give me, give me Ephesians, I'm, uh, sorry, give me Acts chapter 3 and 19. Because you know. hold that and give me Acts 3 and 19. Because what we have to do, we have to change our mind. We have to change the way we view things. We have to change the way we see life. Because the life that we've been living ain't right. We've been misguided and, and mis we have been misguided and walked down the wrong path. Right. So now we gotta return to the Bible and find out hmm, what is it that I need to do? Right. What is it that I need to do to change the condition of my community? Right. And it starts, you know what? It starts with you men. Right. It starts with us men, because whatever the men gonna do, the women gonna follow. Right. You know how you know how that's proven? Because why why is our women dressing half naked? Why do they walk down? Why, why they walk up and down the streets with tight with clothes that hug their skin so that you can see their body parts? Why do they do that? European tradition. Why do they do that, bro? Justin, Justin, right? Attention, attention from who? Us. So what if y'all stop? What if we stop looking at men? What if we stop giving them that attention? What's gonna happen? They're going to change. They're going to stop wearing the clothes because we're not giving them the attention that they're trying to look for about wearing the tight clothes. Right. That's, right. That's what we got to think about. It starts with us men. We, No matter how his picture is painted, we lead the way. Whatever it is that we we uh, portion, we put our energy into, the women going to follow. No matter what anybody says, the women are going to follow, and that's tested. Because they wear what they wear so that they get attention from the men. If the men stop showing them attention, they're going to be like, man, why he ain't looking at me no more? You know what? Let me see what I need to do. You know, if you're keeping the commandments, what they going to do? They're going to put on a dress. They're going to start dressing modestly.
because then they go, they gonna learn, they gonna learn what the men want, and they gonna they gonna move to that. But let's read that real quick. The book of Acts, chapter three and verse nineteen. Bring it out. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. So the Bible says this is what we have to do in this moment of time. This 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 tragic incident that happened. This is the Most High God getting our attention. And what is he getting our attention for? So that we can repent. The Bible says, repent ye, therefore, are you doing, brother? Good, good to meet you. What's your name? Clinton. I'm Simakai. So read that again from the top. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted. What does the word repent mean? What does it mean to repent? Say it again. I thought you said something. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from your wicked ways. what you say? Ask for forgiveness. So when you look up repent, y'all both are right. Because when you repent, you feel bad for the evil that you have done. Right. right. And with that, that feeling that that's called godly sorrow. You feel bad for what you've done when you find out you've been doing wrong and you turn away from it. That's you right. repent. So the Bible says, repent ye therefore and be converted. Read. That your sins may be blotted out. And then the most high God is going to forgive you. Let's get what converted is. So we got to understand what are we going to be converted about. When you understand, when you, when you repent, now you got to find out, okay, how do I change? How do I change from being a drug dealer? How do I change from being a woman? How do I change from being a gangbanger? How do I change from idolatry? And when I say idolatry, I'm talking about going to the Christian church, going to uh, the Muslim mosque, whatever it is, because those are idolatry. Those are anything, those are, those are God that God ain't talking about. That God didn't tell us to follow. Wake them up. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the Bible says that the law of God is perfect. The law, if the law is perfect, why is the church saying that the laws of God are done away with? Right. When it's perfect, the laws of God are perfect, read. Converting the soul. And it's the laws of God that's going to convert our souls. So when we repent, we got to look to the Bible and see. How do I change my way? How do I convert from being a thief to not being a thief? How do I convert from being a whoremonger to not being a whoremonger? How do I convert from being a whoremonger to sleeping around with multiple women to now, you know what, I'm going to marry this woman that I'm with. And I'm going to take care of my kids. How do we convert? Now go back to the feet. Go back to the Go to Ephesians chapter 4. Because this is what we have to know. These are things that we haven't learned in the Christian church. Because think about it. Because a lot of times when we ask somebody, do you got to keep the commandments? Somebody that go to Christianity, that's in Christianity. You ask them, do we got to keep the commandments? Yeah, hold all ten. But meanwhile, the pastor is banging a sister that sit on the front, on the front row. When he's the ten commandments, to say thou shalt not commit adultery. But and that shows it. The Christian church is not teaching us God's law. Right. They're not teaching us the way that we're supposed to walk. Right. Right. That's why our communities are in shambles. That's because right. we think that we law. We think we can do whatever we want and then go to church on Sunday and give tithes and be good. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 